According to the American Kennel Club, AKC, the German Shepherd is the second most popular dog breed in America, and the Labrador Retriever tops the charts at number one out of 193 recognized dog breeds. So, these two breeds are definitely worth talking about. Without a doubt, either the German Shepherd or Labrador Retriever is a great choice for a companion canine. You simply can't go wrong by choosing a well-bred, healthy, and happy dog from either breed. However, which breed is a better choice for your life, daily schedule, and what do you have to offer a pet dog right now? There are some important differences that can help you. So today in this video, we will compare some characteristics of German Shepherd versus Labrador. They're both quite different personalities, but equally appealing in their own unique ways. Originating from Germany, the German Shepherd dog is a large-sized dog with a medium energy level. This means that the German Shepherd will thrive with focused and energetic activity, such as playtime and daily walks, but then will look forward to nice rests in between, including naps and a long evening snooze. Conversely, originated from the United Kingdom and Canada, the Labrador Retriever is a medium-sized dog with a high energy level. The lab needs a lot of daily interaction, playtime and walks, or runs, to stay happy and healthy. Naps are a lower priority. This can mean a more demanding pet dog to care for, at least in the puppy to mid-adult years. Temperament If you're looking for a true guard dog in your family, the German Shepherd is the one for you. German Shepherds have distinguished themselves in practically every type of service job, from combat military to secret service to police work to personal service animals. The Labrador is not particularly protective and is actually more likely to play with intruders than chase them away. This also means that the GSD is also more likely to bark than a Labrador and will let you know if he is suspicious of something or someone. Appearance The GSD and the Labrador are almost completely different in their appearance. The GSD is slightly taller by a few inches and measures up to 26 inches from paw to shoulder and also slightly weightier, with his maximum average weight being about 90 pounds. This dog knows his strengths and isn't afraid to use them. In fact, the composed demeanor is part of what makes the German Shepherd such a great working dog. Whereas the Labrador is slightly shorter by a few inches and measures up to 24.5 inches from paw to shoulder and also 10 pounds lighter, with his maximum average weight being 80 pounds. The Lab is a strong, solid dog and perfectly capable of looking the part of a perfect show dog. However, this breed's natural eagerness and enthusiasm for life typically results in a less polished daily appearance. The GSD comes in 11 recognized color varieties, whereas the Labrador Retriever comes in three colors. The GSD is most famous for his black and tan color, and the Labrador is most famous for his yellow color. Exercise The GSD has a medium energy level, compared to that of the Labrador which is high. The GSD needs around 30 to 60 minutes of exercise a day. The GSD will happily play for a few rounds of ball on top of his daily walking, but he is also happy to mix it up with a few naps throughout the day. After all, he needs to preserve his energy to protect his family on night duty. The Labrador is much more energetic and boisterous, and often doesn't grow out of his puppy phase for at least three years compared to the GSD, who matures at around 18 months. Not only will he need at least 60 minutes of exercise a day, but he will also need regular interaction with his humans in the form of playing fetch or tug of war. Training Both the GSD and the Labrador are highly intelligent and eager to please their master, which makes these two dogs a dream to train. This is the main reason why the GSD is used in military and protection services, and the Labrador as an assistance dog as well as in search and rescue. Not only do they pick up commands super quick, but they remember them too. Of course, it is important to socialize all pups from a young age, but because the GSD has natural protection and guarding tendencies, it is particularly important for him. Grooming and Shedding German Shepherds shed every day. Part of the reason is that these dogs have a longer and very thick outer coat layer, and an equally thick, shorter, insulating undercoat layer. Both layers have to continually shed out old hair and grow in new hair as nature dictates. To put it simply, Labradors shed. They shed morning, noon and night, in the summer and in the winter. 
Labs do tend to shed more heavily during seasonal coat changes. General Health The health of the GSD is average compared to other breeds, and is required to be tested for less health issues compared to that of the Labrador. The National Breed Club for the GSD recommends testing this guy for hip and elbow dysplasia. The health of the Labrador is also average. The National Breed Club for the Labrador recommends the health tests for him like hip and elbow evaluation, ophthalmologist evaluation, and exercise-induced collapsed DNA test. Final thoughts. The GSD and the Labrador are both fine specimens of the canine world. They're super intelligent and loving, and there will never be a dull day with these guys around. They're surprisingly similar in temperament, both sociable and loving. However, if you are after a guard dog, then the GSD would be more suited to you, as the Labrador wouldn't be any good in this role. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thanks.